All right, so welcome back. Richard Smith with Apostolic Praise and excited to begin this organ series here. We've gotten the introduction out of the way. Let's go ahead and jump into some songs. So the first song we're going to be going over today is Jesus is the Answer. And of course, this is a song that we learn in our first piano course, which I do recommend taking that before you begin this course, or at least going through the piano lessons beforehand before you go through the organ lessons. But really, you probably should take that course before you begin this organ course. Organ's a little more difficult than, uh, than piano is. All right, so this song basically, as you remember from the AP 100, is just in the key of C. And typically, what I do, uh, I've shown you my setup already, but um, I like to have my main set of draw bars right here uh, with the first four out and the last one out also. So first two browns, uh, the two whites and the last white out and then I've got my that's my B flat setting of course So I've got my B flat push down here and of course you got your reset button if you want to turn it off It won't play anything, but I've got my B flat setting on I get my tremolo or my vibrato going there And what I typically like to do I'm going to show you a couple of things that I typically will do um, the most basic way to do it is play it like you're playing the piano so the main difference with organ, though, is that you're going to be holding the notes down versus with piano, you're playing a lot of rhythm. Okay, With organ, you're going to be doing more holding of notes down. So we would play this song just in a basic way. You know, Jesus is the sounds a little bit cheesy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it sound better in a second, but uh, we're not playing any melody, which like I said, you've taken our AP 100, our first course, you understand how to add some basic components of melody in and pick the right inversion, uh, hopefully at this point. So what I would typically do in a song like this is I will play um, my bass down here. Can you hear how that sounds better than playing it right here? This just sounds too weak. You really need a lower bass note. That really sounds more like a bass. You want your bass on the organ to sound like the bass guitar. And that down there sounds like the bass guitar. Now, very important thing here, and I hopefully am not giving you too much information all at one time here, too much technical information, but when you start pulling these other draw bars out, as the song begins to get more uh, excited, I guess if you want to say it like that, um, your bass is going to sound weird if you're playing it on the same register as your chords. So what I typically like to do is I have my upper register, my upper keyboard here. I have it pushed to the B flat setting, which are these draw bars as you remember. And I've got my first four pulled out and my last white. And that actually is a bass setting. If you want to sound like a bass guitar, that's a really good bass setting. You can even leave the white note out, or the white draw bar out um, completely in like this. I like to do that sometimes, but I typically prefer it with it out. So, in a perfect world where I'm using both hands, not using my feet yet, I am just going to be playing like this. And this is how I recommend starting off if you're a beginner, is playing without your feet. Um, so, Jesus Now, uh, when I say don't use your feet, of course, by that I mean don't use your bass pedals yet with your feet. Of course, you're using your right foot on the expression pedal and controlling your volume, okay? So let's do it again. Um, so uh, this time we're gonna do it with the, uh, some, some better inversions and some better chords and see if we can make this sound, thing sound a little jazzier. Remember how we can make our major chords into suspended two chords? and our minor chords into minor seven chords. Okay, so play it again.
could do above him. There's no other. Jesus is the way. Okay. Now, one thing you want to be careful of on the organ is that you don't play too low with your chords. You know, the last chord I hit was a little bit muddy. It still works, but it's a little bit muddy because you're starting to get down a little lower. And you just kind of have to listen to your ear and listen to how it sounds. Now, when you have these first two black ones, or first two brown ones pulled out here, it's actually an octave lower. Push them in, it's an octave higher. So you could actually play even lower if you had these pulled out. Um, I'm sorry, pushed in. Okay, now if you wanted to actually add your foot, this is not something I recommend in the beginning, but it's good to start practicing with. And you'd basically be doing the same thing. Of course, at this point, your left hand would have nothing to do because we haven't taught you how to do left hand chords yet. But um, if you wanted to practice with your foot, instead of playing the bass with your left, you could play the bass with your foot. So the notes are the exact same on the, uh, on the bass pedals down there. And then your right hand will say the same. So let's do, um, let's do it and see how it sounds. the chord sheet for this lesson for Jesus the answer is in the PDF study guide that goes along with this lesson as well and I'm not going to call it every single note because this is all stuff that we learned in AP 100 and it's all listed there in the chord sheet um, but if we wanted to run over a few of the inversions we're using here really quickly we could do this um, my first chord I was using is a C2 so G C D E Jesus next one was G2 over B G A B D G A B D with a B bass. Okay, my next one was an A minor seven, which I did a G A C E. Okay, my next chord is a G two, G A B D. The F chord is a F two, F G A C. The C over E chord is a G C D E with an E bass. The D minor chord you could do. It's an F major chord basically over the D, which is a D minor 7. So F, A, C, and then a G2 again. My little thing we did there was G, A, C, D, E. Okay. And so that's actually how you would play a song um, on the organ. You could use the same concept with any song. Play your bass. I recommend playing it, like I said, up here in the upper register. There's no rule says you have to do that, just a personal preference. A lot of organ players do that right hand down here on the lower register and um, use your chords there okay and like I said practice it with the bass being played with the left hand and the chord in the right hand and then also practice it with your left hand just controlling the tremolo and you'll notice how I change that every so often to give a different sound hopefully you'll pick up on that typically in a slow song you'll start with it off but practice with your bass and your foot pedal, using your bass with your foot, and then uh, using your right hand uh, to play the chord, and your left hand just simply controlling the tremolo for now. In later lessons, uh, we'll show how you can actually double up your left hand a little bit, and um, you can play the chord in your left hand also. Okay, you're basically just doing the same chord, but you're just playing it left hand also or you're playing it uh, part of it in the left hand okay. and that gives you a much fuller sound um, typically also when you're playing this is the last thing we'll go over in this lesson typically you want to play just right there in front of you uh, I'm playing on the one two three fourth C around the fourth C which is basically gonna have like a middle C type sound okay even though it's not really middle C on the organ this is it's the same note as middle C with this particular draw bar setting especially Okay, and so you wouldn't want to double the chords up like this because that's going to sound like a funeral. You know, you don't want it to sound, uh, you don't want it to sound too, like that. It just kind of doesn't sound really good. It sounds really, really too, too low and too muddy. So instead, when we add our double hands, 
We go up higher. And now your right hand is playing the one, two, three, four, around the fifth C up here, which would actually be like a high C. And then your left hand would be playing around the uh, middle C, which is around the fourth C. All right. Let's play it one more time all together. So I'm going to use both hands as well. is the answer. Um, you did catch me doing a few things right there that we haven't gone over yet, so don't get, don't get um, upset if you don't know some of those things we haven't covered yet. We'll get into them later. For example, the slur right here. We use that a lot. And we're basically just sliding up two notes to get to whatever note we're on. So, And also, we haven't gone over a lot of the two-handed stuff yet. Don't worry if you're not getting that yet. You can have some fun with it and practice it, but this is a little bit more of a beginner uh, organ lesson here. So what I would focus on mainly is basically playing the chord with the right hand, bass with the left hand, or the chord with the right hand and the bass with your left foot. And then just using your left hand to play the tremolo. And just to switch it back and forth. And you kind of just want to do it seconds to switch it back and forth, typically at more excited parts of the song, when everybody's worshiping and things are popping, you want to change it, and you should be, you should start to catch on when to change it, as you watch me do it. All right, this has been the first lesson, um, as far as the songs go, for our organ course. The very first lesson, of course, began with just an overview of the organ and the different techniques and how it all works and everything. Um, but God bless. We'll see you back here for your next one.